Hi, I'm Ken Larson here at KDVT Filters, and uh, we've had a lot of questions about efficiencies, and uh, so I wanted to answer some of the uh, myths and rumors and uh, show you guys firsthand what kind of efficiency our filter can produce. So we're going to do it here with our stock uh, version 2 filter, a stock Razor uh, 1000 filter box filter, and here's what the cover looks like beforehand. And we're also going to use the ISO test dust uh, here, and that's what we use in the lab to actually test uh, all the filters that we produce. So the first step is we're going to take the filter off the uh, KWT, and that's uh, done by just pushing three little buttons, and the system falls right off just like that. Now we've done a pretest on this already, so you're going to see some dirt in the uh, dirt collection tray. Uh, but what we've done is we've knocked it all out and uh, we're going to weigh it just as is and then we're going to weigh this filter as is so that's a pre-test and then at the end of the test we're going to weigh each one of those again and what that'll tell us is how much dirt uh, made it through the uh, filter, our filter, into the stock filter and then how much dirt came in the dirt tray and the comparison of those will give us an efficiency. So we'll see you in a bit. All right, so here we are uh, ready to run the test. And uh, one thing to note is that we have covered up the uh, stock Razor airbox with a bag. And the reason being is the uh, stock Razor airboxes uh, can leak around the sides without the uh, clips on there. Uh, they come stock without those clips. So uh, rather than uh, you know concern ourselves with that, we just covered it up with a bag for now just to make sure that we're not inducing uh, any unwanted dirt. And now what we're going to do is we're going to we put some dirt in our uh, paint sprayer here, which is great for atomizing the dirt. And then we're going to blow it into the uh, front face here and onto the bottom where the dirt tray is. Uh, there's also inlets down there. So we're going to kind of mix our uh, spraying from front to back or front to bottom. Okay, here we are uh, post test. So we've turned off the uh, simulated uh, engine, our blower, and uh, you can see that the uh, bag is still on the, the top of the filter here. It's got some dirt on it. So we're gonna pull this out and take a look at it. So that's, uh, that's what the inside of the filter box looked like. It uh, just should be a very, very fine mist. And uh, this simulated condition here would be um, a pretty extreme condition for running in the desert. We put a lot of dirt through it. Okay, so that's what that looks like. Now we're gonna go ahead and take the uh, dirt tray off. Again, it's just three buttons. Very easy to do. You can see all the dirt that has been collected into the bottom of the dirt tray there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to weigh this and then we're going to weigh the stock filter and we'll compare the uh, pretest results. All right, so the findings of the test reveal that we're about 97.5% uh, efficient with the uh, ISO test dust and that is uh, extreme conditions. and. Um, what I'm going to show you here is how much dust is actually collected. And uh, so here we go, let's dump it out. So that is what would have been in your engine. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll put the tray back on just so we can show you guys how to do that. So what you want to do is make sure you uh, open up the buttons ahead of time. So you're going to push these in before. Super important, if you don't do that, the tray won't go on. So you want to make sure those are open. Then you start the back and work your way forward. And that's it. It takes about two minutes to do. Thank you very much.